I accidentally, on purpose, lost the footage from my first drawing, but here's Corn Farmer Mouse. This year I wanted to approach Inktober a little differently. If you saw my Inktober prep video, you'll know that I totally overwhelmed myself with the challenge the last time I did it, and so this time I wanted to try something a little more attainable for myself. I'm not following any specific prompt list, and I'm not making or posting something every day. And I know that the original rules or point of the challenge was to make an ink drawing every day, but that's just not realistic for me. <laughs> but I still want to take some part, so I'm I'm doing Mousetober, which is just what I'm calling me making a cute mouse illustration with ink whenever I can. I was trying to keep the concepts as simple as possible while still being cute, but I kept coming up with ideas that I just had to draw, and some of them were really time consuming. Like this one, which is Chef Mouse, and I added so many details. <laughs> so for the first 18 days of October, I got 7 drawings done. Which I know is not very impressive, but that's 7 drawings I didn't have before. One thing I am sticking to is using only black ink along with a paintbrush for washes and my glass dip pens I got as a gift. I still think Chef Mouse is super cute, but I don't think the final result turned out exactly as I had envisioned in my head. Like I could have made the wall even darker in the background so that the lighter elements popped out more, but then it might have made the mouse blend in, which can't happen because he's the star of the show here. So all in all, I think it turned out cute, but could have been better. Because Chef Mouse took up so much time, I wanted to try a simpler idea, so I drew a cute little baby mouse sleeping and tried to really focus on making it look like he's all comfy and cozy in his nest. And then jumping right back into the overcomplicated, detail-ridden mindset. This drawing is Forest Mouse, and he lives in a little hole at the bottom of a tree, and he has a little door and some log steps, and the mushrooms growing off the tree works wonderful as a roof for his porch. I think I did slightly better on this one though, at least with the contrast, and I like how I drew the mouse standing because I didn't have to draw his feet. <laughs> After that super detailed drawing, I decided to do another simpler drawing, and this is probably one of my favorite illustrations out of all the ones I've done so far. A cute close-up of a mouse face with some big round glasses. This one is called Ben Mouse because my son Ben asked if it was based on him since he wears glasses, and I said yes, even though he wears rectangular glasses. <laughs> Thank you. 
This is Sherlock Holmes Mouse, and while I really liked the concept for this one, it ended up being my least favorite out of all the illustrations so far. Uh, just because I really need to study fabric more, and yeah. This was the first mouse I did somewhat of a fur pattern on instead of a single color, and I really like how it turned out. I'll definitely have to do more pattern mice in my future Mousetober drawings. I went for different textures on all the elements here, so the mouse has a fur texture, the cape is more smooth, and I went with a stippling effect on the cap. Since my values were all pretty similar, I was hoping the different textures helped the different aspects to stand out. This is the last drawing for this video, and I originally was going to call him Buttercup Mouse because he's smelling some buttercups. But once I added the grass in the foreground, which I kind of regret honestly, my friend Natalie called him Meadow Mouse, and I think that name fits him much better. So these were all the mice for Mousetober I've done so far. Um, I'm hoping to make one more video at the end of this month with some more mouse drawings. And I've got some really fun ideas I'm currently sketching out like Clock Mouse, Shepherd Mouse, and Ben suggested Gamer Mouse and I'm really excited to do that one. Leave your mouse illustration suggestions down in the comments and I might do one. If you like this video, maybe click the thumbs up button. And maybe you'd like one of these videos up on screen now. Thanks so much for watching. See ya!